Here I'm standing with Nyssa sylvatica or black gum. Beautiful glossy green leaves. Uh, you know, as we talk about trees, we want to always talk about the leaf arrangement of these trees. To identify Nyssa, one of the first things you can do is look for alternate leaf arrangement. Alternate leaf arrangement on Nyssa. Uh, long leaves, but Nyssa's leaves are interesting because they can be what we call polymorphic. They can be a little bit different. Uh, they can be kind of long and narrow. They can be kind of fat and round. Uh, so Nyssa is one that you really need to pay attention to. Uh, this one's starting to get some fruit on it. I'll talk about that in just one minute. Uh, but Nyssa sylvatica, uh, really an eastern native that is underused and should be used more in the home landscape. And one reason we're not seeing it right now is its fall color, which is quite beautiful. Now Nyssa sylvatica is interesting because it is dioecious. Well, what does dioecious mean? It literally means two houses. It has separate male and female trees. And so as you look at this one, you see the fruit forming. And so what do you think that this one is? Well, obviously it's a female tree because it's producing fruit. Now, for Nyssa, uh, this is not completely accurate all the time uh, because some trees, actually almost all trees, will have a few perfect flowers that contain both male and female sexual reproductive parts. But for the most part, Nyssa's are dioecious, meaning there are separate male and female plants. And so look out for the difference. You'll see if you don't see fruit, oftentimes it'll be a male. If you do see fruit, oftentimes it'll be a female. Again, Nyssa sylvatica, a great eastern native tree, glossy green leaves, and you can see uh, the fruit that's on here. Again, alternate leaf arrangement is something to clue in on. This tree can get 40 to 50 foot high, 20 to 25 foot wide, you know, even larger in some cases. Uh, there are several cultivars on the market now uh, that the leaves emerge bright red, and that's one of the characteristics sometimes that you'll see. Even in the wild, you'll see uh, some Nyssa where the new foliage emerges in the spring uh, bright red. But where this tree again comes into uh, real favor for everyone is when it's in fall color. Uh, the fall color is a real true mosaic, reds, burgundies, a little bit of yellows, uh, a lot of oranges as well. So great fall color. And when you've got glossy leaves like Nyssa does, uh, you're going to have even better fall color. And so uh, this plant uh, definitely shows out in the fall and it's one that you really want to look out for. Hardy from zones four through nine used all the way up into New England, the, down into the southern United States. There are other native uh, Nyssa species to North America uh, that you could use in the home landscape, but Nyssa sylvatica is the most popular and the most widely available in nurseries. Uh, disease and insect problems, some canker, leaf spot, rust, uh, there's a tupelo leaf miner and a little bit of scale, but uh, in a healthy tree, those things don't tend to bother them too much. Loves moist, well-drained soil, full sun, or even a little bit of a shady situation. Black gums are known to like wet situations, but uh, they're also adapted to drier situations as well. But in the wild, you'll often find them in quite wet situations. Here's a landscape tip. Certainly one of the best and most consistent native trees for fall color. Avoid alkaline soils.